Hey, this is Greg Meyer. I'm here with Matt Singer from Forward Montana Howdy. at Tricker Vote. He's doing some amazing, innovative work um, all around the country. Tricker Vote has monsters all over the convention. Why don't you tell us about what these monsters are doing? So, so basically, uh, uh, I, these aren't these aren't my technical questions, but but, but first question. Uh, what's the uh, what's the one tradition where every year people go out go door, go door to door and people expect someone to knock on their door and ask for something? Halloween. When does Halloween occur? October 31st. And what's the single best way to increase young voters? Door to door. So you add it all up, and uh, we may all be too old to trigger vote, but you're or too old to trigger treat. You're never too old to trigger vote. Big, basic idea, you know, it's it's a cool thing. Dress up in costume. If you do it right, you can you can be talking about hundreds of volunteers, thousands of volunteers. In uh, 2004, they did it in Portland, Oregon. They had 800 volunteers come out. 270 of them checked a little box on the sign-up form saying, "I've never volunteered politically before." Those people, they volunteered for the first time. They went out and knocked doors, helped increase turnout big time. We're talking about doing this in 25 cities, 12 states. We're still recruiting. It's going to go bigger than that for sure. Um, all over the country, we're talking about hitting uh, at least 4,000 volunteer canvassers. Again, that's a conservative estimate. We're talking about knocking on, you know, do the back of the envelope math. We're talking about, you know, knocking 100,000 doors. You look at the, the turnout statistics. We're talking about 10,000 additional votes from this one program alone nationwide. So it's 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 a, it's a cool idea um, that is also, as we like to say, strategic as hell. Excellent. And uh, so so you're from North Carolina. North Carolina, uh, like my own home state of Montana, is being talked about uh, as, as a potential you know, competitive state this year for the first time in a long time. How much does the youth have to do with that? Well, I, I think um, in our area. We have so many universities, the youth vote's going to be key. And um, I live in the Triangle area, the Research Triangle with Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill. Um, and the turnout in that area uh, helps carry Democratic votes all across the state. So if we turn out a large number of Democrats in our area, it'll help everybody across the ticket. So there's a lot of work being done to target college students. But we've also got to think about ways to target people who are out of college but still young voters, and that's where Traction comes in. And I know that um, Traction and Forward Montana Good collaborate place. on some of these things. And so Traction is actively working with a project called um, How Low Can You Vote to get people out and voting not just for the presidential race but down the ticket. So um, why don't you tell me about what Forward Montana is doing besides Trick or Vote? Uh, we work on all sorts of things. We're, uh, we're one of those fun organizations that we've got everything from, from our 501c3 sister organization, the Ford Montana Foundation, to do nonpartisan civic engagement work, uh, to uh, our base C4 organization that does lobbying work, does voter education, voter um, uh, and voter voter turnout work, uh, as well as we've got a, a state pack where we actually endorse candidates and go out and help elect them. So some of the cool things we got coming up in the future, we're doing our, our field trips where we're going out into key legislative races. Again, the down ballots going to be so important this year. Uh, we, this can either be, uh, you know, we, uh, we, 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 send, we send one guy into the White House or we send a lot of progressives into office and what can be a really important uh, we're, we're working on a giant health care campaign. There, is, there, is, there are a few issues in this country right now as important as health care, and none of them does Montana have as much say as health care. Our senior senator, Max Bacchus, chairs the finance committee, super important role. So we're, uh, we're making sure that come next year when health care goes to the top of the agenda, that Max Bacchus has wind in his sails, that we end up getting a good bill through the finance committee, and that we end up getting health care for all Americans. It's affordable, that maintains choices, that is good for this country. We think we can do that next year if Montana's on board. The, uh, the third big cool program that we're working on, it's called LegiCorp. Uh, the Montana legislature is absolutely insane. Um, and uh, let's go. Um, the, uh, the legislature in Montana is absolutely insane. There are no paid staff for individual legislators. Um, so, so imagine being a, a citizen legislator. You're in office for 90 days every two years. You get asked to, to do all of your own bill research, all your own constituent relations, all of your own scheduling. Uh, I mean, it's just nuts. You got to maintain all of that stuff. Um, meanwhile, there's a lot of young people who want to who want to start moving into the policy world. And right now, the biggest way to do that is to get involved in the political side. Well, we think maybe that some people are cut out for policy. But they're not cut out for field work. That makes sense. So let's build a leadership pipeline by getting uh, 10 smart kids stipends, uh, money in advance to buy new clothes, laptops. Um, uh, homestays, all sort of stuff, health insurance, uh, training, uh, ongoing training, debriefing after the session, job placement, all sort of stuff. Um, and let's build a, a program. It's called LegiCorps. It's like AmeriCorps, like the Peace Corps, except in the legislative arena. Um, it's part of the Bus Federation's Politicorps program. Uh, we're super excited about it. We think it's going to be game-changing in the state. Brilliant.
So that was a super long answer. Um, but I love being asked because I get excited about that stuff. <laughs> it's brilliant stuff. Um, it's awesome. So, so you just talked about uh, how low can you go, um, and, and I know Traction does. I mean, some of the most, some of the, some of the, the, the best things I've ever heard. I, I, I remember hearing once about was it was it was it bio curious like a biodiesel thing. That's right. I mean, what what else is Traction dreamed up lately? Oh boy, what have we done lately? Uh, we had a. Um, just had a I'm drawing blanks. <laughs> I, I work on the uh, fundraising and organizational support side of the board, um, so I don't do all the programs. Uh, I'll just give some of the ones that I often mention as my favorites. Um, we had a sushi making workshop talking about water quality and environmental health issues. Um, we uh, just had a happy hour um, just to get people together and talk about our get out the boat efforts. Uh, that was just last week. Um, we we had recently um, we had a wine tasting. We got people together, learned a little bit about the politics of wine. Uh, I seem to remember the food related ones and drink related ones. Um, but you know, check out gettraction.org. You'll I find like out all the details. I like food. <laughs> uh, my last question for you is: um, How do you decide as a young person? whether you want to be involved with the political world by doing activism and organizing like you're doing or whether you want to be a candidate? You know, um, at least in Montana, it's one of the nice things. It's, it's really a false choice in part because we've got a citizen legislature, we've got citizen city councils. And so, um, you know, Michelle Reinhardt, a good friend of mine who's on our board of directors, is also the youngest uh, woman in the state legislature in Montana. Um, she, she is also an amazing activist in her own right, um, has a long history of working for like Northern Plains Resource Council and grassroots uh, farm and, farm and uh, ranch lobby of uh, family farms. Um, so, so to some extent, and I, and I mean, uh, Jefferson Smith, founder of the, uh, the Oregon Bus Project, is now running for the state legislature in Oregon. Jonah Goose, who's the, uh, one of the co-founders of New Era Colorado, our affiliate down there, uh, is now running for, uh, for region for the, uh, for the CU system. So, um, so to some extent, uh, picking and choosing, I, I, I think one of the things, one of the things that, that happened in past generations was that there was this real thought of, are you outside the system or are you inside the system? Are you rattling the cage or are you inside the cage being rattled? And one of the things that, that is true of, of, of sort of the new politics of this new progressive era that we're building is, is an understanding that, that when the people outside and the people inside work together, that doesn't necessarily mean always always completely on the same page, because there does need to be outside pressure, and there do need to be people inside cutting the deals to actually make things happen. But when we, when we understand that we're fundamentally part of the same movement, um, and that people can occasionally cross over between those two roles, we're a lot better off. We don't need to be chucking bombs in the street. We don't need to necessarily be doing sit-ins as long as we have the right people in the office, and we've got the right people on the outside doing support to make sure that good things happen. This guy's brilliant. So, <laughs> you get the last question. You want to get on the bus? Absolutely. There you go. I'm on the bus, people. Uh -huh. uh, this is Matt Singer, a brilliant guy that you need to listen to. Hopefully we'll be seeing him do big things. Um, thank you so much, Smartest man. Smartest guy in the room when I'm by myself. <laughs> Thanks a bunch. Thank you.